Okay. I just set it up to a higher quality and for some weird reason I'm getting a lot more FPS than when I was trying to record at a lower quality. And as I say that it goes back down to 47. But overall it seems to be higher FPS, which is very weird. Anyways, I'm not gonna question it. It's good. Um I guess this is a heck of a lot better than his vid. I know where the saving location is. I could get a video editor. I could start YouTube if I wanted to again. Yeah, but the thing is... I would have no one to record with and my friend... will come over like twice a week. Like, not over camp room. Really play, so, um, that's sort of why I stopped my YouTube. I will be making some mod packs shortly. I mean, I have been, but I'll work on them. Thank you for being subscribed still, and sorry, I'm not going to really do any more episodes. If someone wants to record with me, I could start up YouTube, and, you know, uh, you want to donate, that would be nice too. Anyways, like I said before, I quit my YouTube a while ago, over a year. But yeah, this is an amplified world. It's one of my favorite world types. And okay. Should have been the difference from 1080p to 480p. They should have recorded in normal standard edition, which is 720. You don't have to go to 1080p. I want between 1080p and 480p. I want 720p, which is HD. But Xbox says otherwise, it's either all or nothing, so whatever. Um, I'm gonna be totally quitting my channel soon. I mean, I'm testing out two mods. Once they come out, I'm not gonna test them anymore. Um, after that, I'm gonna re release my mod packs if they're not already re released. And then I'm shutting down the channel. We're good. Thank you for the 50 people still subscribed to me. If I had someone to record with, I would have had hundreds of thousands of views because I would have been doing lots of series and mod packs and the mod packs I made and advertising and stuff. And I would have even set up a bank account so I would have gotten the money I made and bought better computers to play more. So, that didn't work out too well. Thank you for staying subscribed, and I didn't even know I was going to make a video here. I was just looking at the Xbox recording system and how it affects the game. It seems to be about the equivalent of fraps. So, yeah. Except, it doesn't divide them into gigs of a video. I mean, I don't really need an editor as long as I'm good enough. But, like I said, I'm quitting YouTube. We're good known this for a year now, but I'm officially saying I'm not doing any more videos. I'm going to do a couple videos of my mod packs that I made, and I'm going to make the two ultimate mod packs over the summer again, but this time there should be no one in my way <sighs> saying to do four billion things so I will actually have time to do what I want to do, and yeah. Expect to see ultimate mod packs. One is going to be realistic craft. It'll be a simplified version and a uh, 8 gig of RAM version. We're going to need like 6 gigs of RAM to run it on an 8 gig of RAM computer. And if you can't run that, there might be a medium one on 4G. No, it's not 4G LTE. Anyways, I want to end my channel. And I'm going to end it with this video. 
well, basically with this video, but I'm gonna end it with the Seasons mod. This is progression of the Seasons mod. Uh, the temperatures are messed up, so autumn doesn't look that good right now. But as you can see, it's a work in progress. I haven't tested it in weeks. I've been just so busy. Anyways, yeah, like I said, I'm ending my YouTube. If the circumstances did not not all go against me, I would have continued. I've had like 500,000 subscribers by now. And or been playing with the Patching Canadian, hopefully. So, that sucks. But... Life happens, and yeah, I had to move like 14 times over the summer, so I didn't do anything. The summer before, I believe stuff happened, and I had to do stuff, and or I was grounded, and the computer went in back and forth, and one, I wasn't doing that, I was bike riding. I had basically no time to get on the computer whatsoever. And before that, I started my YouTube series, so I've had absolutely no time to officially start my YouTube series. Once I started it, it was done. Sadly, people didn't bother me for 10 million things, and I didn't have to do 10 million things, especially when my summers were not busy. I've recorded most of my episodes then, but like I said, didn't happen. If it did, would have made a lot of money by now. And videos. Anyways, and my YouTube series with seasons. Because this is one of the mods I'm testing. And I just wanted to show you some seasons. got seven days in the season and it's got four seasons in the year just like real life I'm trying to work with the modder right now on getting seasons working right first of all it worked right but every major I mean every new beta there's been a major bug so that's why it hasn't been released yet in this version the temperature tweaks totally failed. It barely melts anywhere. The melting and temperature is actually way down from before. And also, it melts regardless of snow temperatures back to uh, spring frost, which was a legacy version. So, yeah. Needs a ton of work with temperatures. Once the temperatures are all fixed, then we need to work on mod compatibility because it currently hates dimensional mods. It tries to register it before it can find it or or it's even registered and then it just doesn't work. I've tried to say this before to the modder. Why don't you just do it, modify the temperatures after the bomb is registered. And he's like, I forgot what he said, I'm pretty sure said it already does that, but I'm like, it's apparently not good enough. Anyways, once the temperature is all fixed up and everything's working, I need to double check everything. And snow needs to be modified once everything works again, because once it works and it's melting again, it's going to need to decay in at least the code biomes because code biomes year-round snow and they don't melt during the snow at all year-round and it keeps snowing and as you can see snow piles in seasons so that's going to become an issue now in the main config there will be an option just to keep the single vanilla sheet of snow. However, Seasons mod, the modder and I agree that 
uh, snow being stacked is good. And after that's done, there's uh, like 20 issues to go through. Follow up of making sure that the uh, snow is smoothed out. Because as you can see, it's pretty rough here. And snow does not currently go through leaf blocks. That's an issue. Now, snow should go on leaf blocks, but they should also drift. I'm going to talk to him about that once he gets the mod working again. So you can see ice does form, just like in real life, but it does not form if it can't see the sky. That's another bug. Now, biome decorators. He got it working in beta 11. Uh, I'm not going to spoil that much more, but basically, it decorates the biome. Once it's winter, in new chunks, not unloaded, just new chunks. And it's going to generate this massive amount of chunks of snow. Single sheet of snow. I talked to him that he needs to simulate and log storms, or something along that line. So that it's the amount of snow that is currently being everywhere else. Now if it was only a single sheet of snow everywhere, that would be totally fine if he just generated it and then... So once he gets that fixed, if he ever does, with the bomb decorators and logging and snow, then he needs to set up so make sure that it melts and that plants will generate at a normal rate over the snow, replacing it in spring. If it's been a certain amount of time, Said snow logging, something along that line. And yeah, especially during the summer, it's got to be totally removed. And then that should be good for that. And then after all that, let's see what else he needs to do. Needs to add some uh, features like, I don't know. Uh, snow shovel that actually gives you the sheets of snow. That's totally optional. Once that's all set up, I'm pretty sure that it's good to go. It's mod compatible in every single way except dimensions. Anyways, yeah, so I'd like to thank you guys for subscribing. Uh, sadly, I cannot continue YouTube. I'm lucky over the summer I'm just going to be able to uh, finish the mod packs I tried making in 2014, two years ago. This is the uh, last attempt I'm ever going to make, and if it fails, it fails. Yeah, so two years in a row I've tried. After I'm done with the Seasons mod and Anti-ID Conflict 2.0 testing, I'm going to try to finish those. And the major two ultimate mod packs that I'm going to do is going to have to be over the summer. Um, I'm sorry I haven't made any videos. they just all been beta tests. And you got the idea that I was quitting when there was only beta testing and that was it. Matter of fact, you got the idea when I started getting grounding a lot and not being able to make YouTube videos that I was quitting. So... Like I said, if I could start up YouTube and be popular and have someone else with me, I probably would start it back up, but there's no one to play Minecraft with me. I don't like doing single player survival with no one there. Yeah, so quitting YouTube, I just showed you Seasons mod. I'm not going to say when it's going to be out, but hopefully... If we all test it and everything, and everything works out and there's no issues with any of the new features that I suggested he added, and he does add it, to make the mods more compatible with snow layers and generation of new chunks, which he already started implementing, then it should be good to go besides temperatures, which I already told him it needs modifying again. And some optimizations would be nice. I only get 115 FPS with that up fine, and I get 60 here. I understand it's a massive mod, 
But once he gets everything working, you should make it load only what absolutely necessary has to load at that single time. And the memory sh should not only go down, but the FPS should go up. That's the plan anyways. But if all else fails, it's just going to be a laggy mod, and this is going to be one of the mods that you put in a small mod pack, or no mod pack, just for knowing this and play it, because seasons are awesome. And anti-ID conflict 2.0, I'm going to spoil it, may as well since I'm leaving YouTube, it's going to raise the biome limit past 256. Dimen uh, the dimensions are infinite, so yeah. Dimensions are infinite, biomes are raised way past 256, so mod packs are perfectly capable of having a biome and dimension mod pack built in one with over 500 biomes, as long as your computer can handle them. So that's going to be awesome when that comes out. Uh, originally I was going to make a dimension mod pack and I couldn't even finish it because there was too many biomes. Once that comes out though, I'm going to be able to finish it in the biome mod pack that I started. And just, it's also going to raise the entity limit for 1710 so I can finish the ultimate RPG and also combine the biome mod pack, the ultimate RPG and the dimension mod pack all into one. I mentioned my pack is the ultimate RPG, by the way, for the most part. There's going to be like a couple differences. Dimensional mod pack is just going to be literally the dimensions, and the ultimate RPG is going to be the mods with it that makes it more of a mod pack than a pack. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed my YouTube videos for the short time that I started recording and filming. By the way, I make the world's best mod packs, it's just that I haven't had a chance to actually finish a single one besides short mod packs that are not that good, like Classic Craft, because stuff always gets in the way. If it wasn't Michael bothering me to play games with him, it was Seasons Mod or AIC 2.0, and if it wasn't that, a year ago, it was Mom, or Moving, or Dad, or Moving, or Mom. You get the point. It was totally impossible for me to finish what I started at an efficient rate. And then when it wasn't all those scenes, Micah comes over, so. So I don't have the weekend to work on that, and that's usually when I would work on them, so. It's nearly impossible. I'm not going to be able to work on it till the summer. And hopefully I'll get everything done. Plan was to get it over done by November, these uh, three mod packs. But I was testing seasons, being sick, or something came up. So, yeah. Thank you for watching my videos. This is my ending of my YouTube channel. This is not a joke. I'm finishing up my YouTube channel. Except for like previews and stuff, that's just going to be my ultimate mod packs if they ever come out. Because once everything's stabilized, I now have like no time to finish it. As my kid comes over on the weekends, school during the week, when the heck am I supposed to do it? On break. By the time I have my two break days, I only have a couple days to work on the mod packs. Then Seasons gets released, I have to work on that, and then I don't actually wind up working on my mod pack. I'm to quit Seasons, but the Seasons group is basically just me, another guy, and the modder, and that's it. So if I leave, we're doomed. He's a source code beta tester, the other guy. Then there's the coder for the mod, and then there's me, the in-game beta tester. So, but you can't Eclipse is glitched out, he can't like test everything in game. So, uh, I have to do it. And hopefully, when the mod releases, I'll make enough so you can get a new PC and/or Eclipse. And 
Now he equips his free. And get a new one. I'm not sure what the deal is. It's probably that his computer's old. Anyways. Season's mod is going to be totally mod compatible. It's going to be totally optified and everything once it comes out, hopefully. It's the temperatures and everything are going to be completely gone. And everything's going to be good. Yeah. The ultimate RPG that I started working on, I'm going to tell you this because it's going to be the next video, is basically all the dimension mods that I like all in one pack. And it's all the RPG mods in one mod pack, plus all the dimension mods in one mod pack. And once all those are implemented, that's the light version. The medium version is going to be that, the critical RPG mods, and what should I call it? RPG mods? Yeah, nothing but magic. That's going to be called the Magic Crusade. And then there's going to be the heavy version, which is the Magic Crusade, the lighter version of that. Just some magic mods is a lighter version. And it's going to be the critical RPG mods, the ultimate RPG light, some magic, not necessarily finish the rest of the pack. Get more of the critical RPG mods and the magic RPG crusade. And after that. I think I'm going to call it quits on that one because it's such a heavy mod pack for the light version by itself. And since caches do not grow with the amount of RAM needed to run programs, and 64 bit computers do not have 100% support for some weird reason, or something along that line, it takes forever to load. Now, if the cache did grow, and everything did grow along with the RAM, it would load uh, within a minute. It also has something to do with it. I only have 2.2 gigahertz, which is about your guys' computer, so I can test it for you. Anyways, sure, I hope you enjoyed this video. I am ending my YouTube series, and Season Smod currently is not working. However, you get the basis of it. It's going to be out within, I'm going to say, a year. It's going to be out within a year. If we all work together, it's going to be out very soon. In like four months. Hopefully sooner than that, but who knows. Maybe longer than four months. If issues like the leaves and the ice, the other thing are preventing it from it being released. However, those are not really noticeable game-changing bugs, so it may not matter. And the mod may be released before those bugs came out. But the rest of the issues, they will all hopefully be fixed. And not a good YouTube series, but whatever. I actually got done what I needed to get done. And I had the time. Everything would have worked out well. My mod packs would have only taken two weeks apiece in the summer, and everything would have been done in the summer of 2014. Summer of 2015, I'll tell you what happened then. Uh, basically, I moved everyone, I already told you that. And basically, Seasons and the other mods came up, and that's like the equivalence of two jobs. So. I haven't had a chance to do anything. I didn't get a regular job that pays me money because I have to do this. And once that's all done, like I said, I'm gonna finally finish my mod packs. I'm going to post some on the YouTube channel and then I'm gonna shut it down. I sure hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like, share it with your friends. And happy Minecraft. I'll say that again.
Thank mm-hmm. you.